called notion of, uh, of uh, investing. Firms with low book to price and low PE stocks, there's the return there, 4.3 on average. Those for high, high uh, earnings to price and high book to price, there's the return here. You can see the firms gra gra returns graduated here across these portfolios. Now, these are very large differences. 30% versus 4.3% as an average return is a heck of a difference, okay? Now, of course, we have to think about the, the risk of these portfolios, okay? Um, and this is really the issue in hand. Uh, this, is, oh, this is a fascinated people in research, okay? Why do you have these differences? It's not explained by beta. It's not explained by the capital asset pricing model, okay? Um, people have introduced the notion, uh, particularly, that book to price uh, is uh, a risk measure. Um, if I replicated, if I, if I started doing this, of course, every year, um, uh, this, of course, is very simple investing, right? Your eight-year-old can do it. Get the price off uh, Yahoo Finance, get the earnings and the book values, okay? Divide into other. You can actually perform this. It's not a lot of analysis. It's very simple. How can you have, how can you have such good returns to very simple investment strategy? So this is the question. Uh, well, what could be wrong here? Well, there's two things could be wrong. First of all, uh, you have to worry about. First of all, with only using two bits of information, earnings and book value, um, you're in danger of running into uh, someone who's using more information, someone who's done their homework. Mm -hmm. And secondly, you're really in danger of actually maybe picking up risk. It may be the firm with a low earnings to price, uh, with a, uh, a, a high earnings to price, and a high book to price is a very risky company, okay? And that these are just payoffs for risk. Um, and so that's what this research uh, investigates. Is in fact these pay uh, are these these are payoffs to risk. Now people have developed asset pricing models that said book to price is related to uh, to risk. Okay, um, uh, because it's related to distress, it's related to uh, liquidity and all sorts of other things. Uh, what we've done in our work is to ask uh, uh, is ask uh, is there anything that has to do with the accounting which would indicate that that, that when you actually buying a high book earnings to price and a high book to price that you are actually picking up risk, okay? By the way, just, just, just note one thing. People, will, people will, 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 will try to sell you on investments by giving you their historical returns, okay? The mutual funds that advertise are always the ones that have done well in the last few years, okay? But people will actually give you the history of, uh, the history of uh, over a long period of time of this back testing, and it's usually on US data, very often US data. One thing we've got to remember that the last 50 years, this period here, is a very successful time in US history, okay? With corpor corporations doing very well, a very successful stock market, and you would expect that in a very successful time, you would have done very well if you picked, you, were, you held risky investments, okay? Because risk paid off. So the question is whether these ones down here, even though they looked like so much bigger turn, these paid off because it was just a period in which, um, in, in which uh, risk paid off very well. And if you run into a period where risk does not pay off, off well, like 2008, things might go in a very different direction. Okay? So the point before us is an accountant. I look at this and say, hey, hold it. Um, these ratios, earnings to price, and book to price have accounting numbers in them, earnings and book values. Mm -hmm. a given price is strictly correct to say earnings to price <coughs> and book to price are accounting phenomena. Mm -hmm. And so, if these have anything to do with risk, it must be the way we do our accounting. It picks it up. Or, for some reason, the accounting the accountants are just doing crazy things, and for some reason, these numbers get correlated over this period with what, 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 matters, what, what is matters for risk, okay? But let's think about the notion, think about the notion, uh, these are counting for us. So if, if in fact these have to do with, with risk, well, it, uh, it, uh, uh, there may, may be a counting explanation for this, for this phenomenon. Do these ratios pick up risk because of the way the accounting was done, was done? And there are a few insights. 
if you understand the account. First of all, understand that earnings to price, of course, is a yield. Mm -hmm. So um, just as you expect higher risky bonds to have a higher yield, now it's a bond yield, but of course a bond yield can always be converted to an earnings yield by the effective interest method. Do you know that one? Okay, in your accounting 101. Uh, the bond yields are explained to uh, expect bond yields or earnings yields for bonds are related to returns. Uh, that may be also the case for equities, okay? So we take out that into notion that yes, if you've got more earnings, more risky.